Hi YouTube friends, this week we are talking about filming parties, events, conferences, all of that jazz. And I have come up with seven top tips for filming better footage at events. So a good friend of mine, Sam, recently had his 35th birthday and I was invited to go to his party and I thought it would be really nice to put together a little bit of a party montage, get some nice footage of all his friends enjoying themselves. We had a couple of people come down to DJ, lots of drinks consumed in this really cool little kind of hipster coffee shop come bar. The guys have got their own design agency on the first floor, so it was a really cool building. And I thought, yeah, this sounds like a good opportunity. Take my camera, and uh, in doing so, I've kind of realized a few things I could have done better, uh, a few things which I did quite well, I think. So I'm gonna play you the video, and then afterwards, I am going to share with you my seven tips which I've come up with to help you if you're filming an event. If you're not really interested in seeing the party montage, then skip ahead to the time code which I'll put somewhere around here, or a link somewhere. Um, but if not, then take a look at the footage that I got now. Hi, I'm Sam. Um, today's my 35th birthday, and I am um, just a bit nervous about it, but I guess I'm kind of excited.
So there you go, there's the little party montage which I put together. And like I say, there was a few things which I struggled with when I came to edit the footage. There were a few things which I struggled with when I was at the actual party. Um, so I thought it might be helpful to you to sort of share a few things which I probably could have done better um, and a few things which maybe I did do quite well in the first instance. So, without further ado, uh, let's get into it. So tip number one for filming events is make sure that you plan the gear that you need to take to the event, particularly the lenses that you think you might need. Are you going to be filming in a very small place, in which case you might find a wide angle lens would be useful, or if you're going to be in low light conditions, then you're probably going to want something with as wide an aperture as you have got. For this event, I took my kit lens, I took my 50mm uh, one 1.4 and I also took my 24 to 70. Now the 24 to 70 lens, the sort of general purpose lens, was absolutely fantastic for the majority of the event but as soon as it sort of got dark and the decks came out and the drinks started rolling, suddenly it was too dark for using that lens. I ended up relying heavily on the 50mm 1.4 which I nearly didn't take. With a 50mm lens, um, it gives me quite tight shots or I have to be further away and I was lucky that in this particular venue where we were there was plenty of room for me to maneuver to make sure I could still get a variety of shots but definitely uh, it was a good job that I considered these different scenarios before I turned up. Also, I didn't take my wide angle lens, I did take the kit lens, I just sort of tend to throw that in my bag wherever I go, but I really wish I took the wide angle because I did a little time lapse at the end, you might have spotted it, and it would have been really nice if I could have really got a super wide angle shot for that and got a lot more of the action from the room. It still worked okay with the kit lens, but it would have been nice to have gone even wider. So that is tip number one. Tip number two, shoot a way more footage than you think you need. When you think you've got enough, film some more, and then when you've done that, just film a bit more, really, because the fact is, every time I put my camera down, it felt like something happened that would have been nice to capture, and I think this is probably the case with lots of events. So, just keep that camera rolling, and that might seem really obvious, actually, but just when you're, you know, when you're holding a shot, make sure that you're holding it for long enough that you might be able to get something out in the edit. Often, when editing this kind of footage together, you only want short snippets anyway, but the more that you've got, the more possibility there'll be that you really capture the magic. So uh, yeah, so that's tip number two, shoot more footage than you think you need. Tip number three is uh, very similar to the last tip actually, but uh, slightly different. It's make sure that you get a variety of different shots. Now this is largely going to depend on the lenses that you're using and the camera that you're using, but what's super nice is if you can vary your shots in the edit between nice wide angle shots, establishing shots as it were, that show the full surroundings of where you are, and close up detail shots of kind of people interacting with each other, drinks being poured or whatever the particular action is at the event that you're filming. Filming. but make sure you get a variety. As I said previously in my other tip, because I ended up shooting with my 50mm towards the uh, latter part of the evening, it meant that a lot of my shots were maybe a little bit tight and I kind of wish in hindsight that I'd just step back a bit more often and made sure that I got those wide sort of full room shots just so that as a viewer when you're watching the video back you kind of get a sense for the space that you're in as a viewer. So I hope that makes sense. Um, make sure you get a variety of shots. Now this, something that's come up already is people saying, oh, but Will, you've got this lens, that lens, uh, the wide angle lens, the close up lens, you've got all these different lenses. And actually, if I'm filming something, I'm probably just filming on my phone. So I say to those people, I say, your phone these days are absolutely amazing. And if you are sort of trying to put together a little montage in the same way I did for a friend's birthday, then actually you can still get a variety of shots. Just make sure that when you're filming, that you remember that even on your phone, you can shoot wide or you can zoom in a little bit and get some close-ups on stuff. So no matter what device you're on, you can still ensure that you get a variety of different shots. Tip number four next is to do with B-roll. I sort of touched on it very briefly in the last tip with talking about a variety of different shots. So it's really important to any video and really makes the difference between a sort of 
a good and a great video is if you've got lots of nice little shots to intercut with actually the main action. So if this, this particular event, it was a party, so lots of people talking, drinking, having fun, dancing, um, but also I made a point of getting other little shots, a quirky teapot with a flower in it or a nice bit of graffiti that was on the wall or some glasses on a table, close-ups on the decks, all of these sort of things, they all add to the sort of mood and the ambiance of the video, which is nice. And when you watch it back, you get much more of a sense of the space, just like I said with getting a variety of shots. In those shots, make sure you're getting nice little things that kind of added to the environment that you're filming. Tip number five is a big one. One thing that I've found and become increasingly aware of when filming, particularly when filming people in an environment where they're trying to relax, is that not everyone is a big fan of being filmed and actually um, some people are quite unnatural. So this tip is keep your distance. Keep your distance from people. If you've got a variety of lenses and you've stuck to tip one that I mentioned earlier, then hopefully you can still get those close-up shots without having to be in people's faces. With the 24 to 70 lens that I was using at 70 mil, I can be across the bar and I can be filming someone on the other side, having a nice relaxed conversation and a chuckle with someone about something. And I can get a really nice relaxed shot of that without having to be right stood there, right in their face at 18 millimeters you know getting the same shot but then they're not relaxed so this is a this is a biggie and um, one that I found uh, that I learnt and did better throughout the evening that I was filming so um, yeah keep your distance because people are much more comfortable if they don't think they're being filmed or it's not that they don't think they're being filmed it's more a fact that you're not in their face so they're just more relaxed about it tip number six is talk to people, communicate, tell them why you're there, tell them what you're doing, tell them what your kind of goal is. Really important this one and it kind of feeds into the last one about keeping your distance. People need to be relaxed. If you're filming something, no one likes having a camera stuck in their face when they don't know what it is. And all it takes is 30 seconds to say, oh yeah, I'm putting together a little montage for the birthday boy. I think it'll be really nice, don't worry. My job here is to make you look really good. Maybe tell them the end goal. So I was saying to people, you know, I'm shooting all of this in slow motion, there's no sound. My job is to make you look as cool as possible and you'll only be really quick snippets. So please don't feel self-conscious. And a lot of people responded really well to that. And as soon as they knew that actually, it meant that they were much less likely to sort of turn their back when they saw the camera on them, it seemed to help. So probably should have done it sooner on in the day. Learn from my mistakes. Make sure you communicate with people, put people at ease, and you will get better footage because of it. So the last tip for you is tip number seven. And this is a weird one, but something that definitely I, I think I did okay in this video, but certainly it's one that I feel like I learn from every single time I pick up the camera and do any kind of filming. And that is to remember the story. Remember what it is you're trying to convey in the video. And even if it's just an, uh, an event, uh, you know, we're not talking about feature length films here, but whenever you're filming, there's some sort of narrative. There's always a chrono, chrono, a con, a con, chrono, a con, a con, a con, a chronology to the day. So when editing the footage, try and stick to your chronology and try and use your B-roll and the footage that you've got to make sure that there's some sort of flow to the finished video. So perhaps it's showing people arriving, showing the venue, then showing a bit of talking, you know, that kind of thing is really important. And I think I could have done that a bit better in the video uh, that I showed you earlier. Definitely could have done it better, in fact. But nonetheless, I think there was enough footage to sort of convey the course of the evening. We started outside, we had some drinks, we ate some pizza, we listened to some music, we put some lasers on, we partied hard. That was the general gist of what happened there. And hopefully I managed to communicate that in a clear way. I would have liked to have had some more moving shots going inside, coming outside, going through doors, etc., to kind of help to demonstrate the movement. So it's always worth, even if it's not happening at the event if there's a bit of downtime and you're shooting b-roll then perhaps just get some kind of moving shots that help to kind of educate viewers as to the space and how people are moving around the space and that would have been quite helpful had i done that whilst filming the event so yeah so that is it 
So there you have it. That is seven things that I learned. I hope you found them useful. Shout out to Sam, whose birthday it was. Happy birthday very much to you. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video. If you have, I would love it if you could like the video. And if you really liked it, then please think about subscribing to the channel so I know that you appreciate what I'm doing. And other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. One, two, check, check, check. Check, check, check one, 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 two, check. Today we're talking about film. No, that wasn't very good. What am I actually saying? Hey, YouTube. Light up. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Parties. No.